Good morning. Good morning. How are you? How was your weekend? It was amazing. You know it was. <laughs> it was I know. Needed. What happened over hey, the weekend? It, was it cloudy? She got what what did you do, Junkie, over the weekend? Tell us. Oh, Tristan, you know. <laughs> um, went to Half Moon Bay. Um, it was amazing, Tristan, actually. I don't know. Is that James? sounds really deep so oh okay. my That's microphone's messing up <laughs> so no went to half moon bay and um it was that cloudy tristan it was cloudy but it was like um warm misty. Kind of. misty yeah misty and it was kind of warm whoa yeah really? but the wind the wind was there really light wind but it was just man it was so breathtaking to go back and just kind of like sit there and no noise, nothing in the mind, just meditate, just sit there and meditate, you know, by the on the bench where you're just sitting there and the sound of the water, the waves were amazing. They were not that high. That's that the high. best bench. <laughs> Man, I, I told the universe, look, you know how much I need this. The bench better be clear for me. And so he ran goes up the thing at uh, the hill and he goes, sorry, babe. I'm like, don't do this shit to me. And then <laughs> he's like, no, it's here. Let's go. And so I got out, you know, he picks on me a lot, but then got out and, you know, went to sat there. It was really nice. It was I like that. Yeah. wonderful. Yeah. And then we had Mediterranean lunch, which I love. I love Mediterranean food. So we had um, lunch at our favorite place. You know, one thing I realized mm. is no matter what business you have, Mm -hmm. If you are there welcoming your guests and not being that, you know, not being at a level where you're just so like, oh, I'm the owner of the restaurant. I don't need to mingle around. Mm -hmm. Dude, your business is not going to get any any further than what it is right now. Very true. And I loved going there and talking. Like I, the owners, the two gentlemen, the senior gentlemen of, you know, they're, they were older. They actually came and said, hey, how are you? Well, you came after a long time. I mean, they remember you. Oh, wow. I know, right? We go there all the time and they remembered us. That was the best part, Tristan. That is cool. You know what? That also shows a great piece of human uh, psychology, which is uh, we long to be significant in to other people, right? And connect with them in some way. So I love that. I love that. All right. Let's get this party started. Let me just bring in a couple more people. And let me get my notes ready, Junkie, because you always say good stuff. Thank you. Uh, are we, uh, all right, my notes are ready to go. Welcome, everybody. Happy Monday. We've got Junkie Patel from the NorCal area. She runs a team out in that area, a successful team. And she has a virtual assistant company that she helps run. And she also has a great real estate business. So if you have any referrals, Silicon Valley, Fremont area. That's her. And if you were part of the coaching, which you all are two weeks ago, I think it was, I think it was two weeks ago. Yeah. Jockey and Sim, her daughter did a great buyer presentation. If you missed it, please go back and watch that recording because it was, it, that's how you should be doing the buyer presentations. Uh, so it's two weeks ago. If you don't know where it is, James can help you find it. All right, Jonky, what do you have for us today? So um, I was asked to talk a little bit about my presentation, by a presentation, what we say at the consults, and also what what and how we do, how, how we successfully are talking to buyers with these agreements, you guys. Um, and I hear there's a lot of challenge of getting the buyers to agree to the 2.5%. And thank God, knock on wood, we're not having that challenge. So I want to kind of talk to you guys about what we do, what we say in our mass text messages. I don't know if you guys all have Lofty here. Do we all have Lofty, Tristan? Uh, most of us have Lofty. Some of us have Follow a Boss and KV Core. Okay. Well, I think it would be, you know, if all of you guys have mass texting, that's the one feature I love about Lofty. And that's the only reason I'm with them. Besides the other, other features like pipelines and, you know, um, Lofty is a CRM that I use. So um, what I want to kind of talk about is what are we saying to our leads? Um, I don't know how many of how many of you guys are actually doing lead generation, calling like Tristan Dials. That's the same thing that I do, um, that our team does actually. Allison, myself, and Simran, we all dial every single day. And our goal is to talk to 20 people. 
And if there's success, keep going. If there's no success, stop at 20, right? That's one thing I'll tell you is that you don't want to carry your negative energy on and on and on. Mm. So that's one thing. Yeah. At 20, we stop. And I actually love like, just and I have lots of notebooks here. That's and this cool. is my, yeah, this is my lead generation notebook. Okay. So thoughts, right? So mm -hmm. I usually um, write down who I'm talking to when I'm doing lead generation. And when I'm really, really having success talking to people, people are answering and I'm like not drained out of it. I continue dialing and guys, we get results. So some people, they're not realistic with their numbers. So what do we say to these people when we're talking to them? So I want to share my screen really quickly. And oh, please do. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, so here, are, so this is Lofty, right? This is what you, you're good with your CRM. Lofty is the CRM we use. And then, um, you know, we usually send out at least one text message a week, mass text message a week. And we do get responses from our clients. Um, some of them will say unsubscribe, unsubscribe whatever. That's cool. Um, we say something like, hey, interest rates are dropping. Um, you know, something, something of this. Um, let me just move this around. And we just say interest rates are dropping. What cities are you looking to buy a home in? Something very simple. Um, we get a lot. This person called me, actually. And then we get responses from people. And, and Lofty has changed um, so much of its CRM. So it's, it's I'm still getting used to it. But um, this person right here, we're talking to him. Um, and we said, hey, listen, you know, interest rates are dropping. Um, are you looking to buy a home uh, or where are you looking to buy a home? And he responded, he responded and said, give me two days. Um, uh, we will call you, please. He did call me in two days and now he's with the lender getting pre-approved. Um, some of them I can actually go into my, um, my um, CRM to kind of show you more about this. Uh, this. This person right here, see, he's responding to us. I we messaged him at 520, uh, 527 on September 10th. Two days later, he responded, but he did respond, right? So ask questions that are open-ended questions. Um, he just said, hey, I'm looking in Fremont. You know, are you working with the realtor currently? We tend to ask that question and get it out of the way. And of course, he said no. And then guess what? We have a buyer consultation with this guy. When is a good time to call? He did not respond back. So guess what I did? I picked up my phone and said, hey, I'm sure you're really busy. Just a quick question. When are you available for a quick call? Right. So I had a call with this guy. We have a consultation scheduled for um, Tuesday. Um, this guy right here. OK, this guy was kind of rude with Simran as we continued the conversation still. Look, we asked him, you know, hey, this is John Key with Y Realty. Um, he even said, why are you asking so much? Why did he say this? Because he Y Lopo Stars is already turned on. We were chatting with him over there. So he kind of got confused. So just keep one form of texting with a client or a lead. Otherwise, you'll lose their interest. Um, so this guy, you know. He he talked to us and he said, look, I'm looking in Milpitas. Um, you know, would you like us to send more listings, this, that, and the other? So these are the kind of questions we do ask you guys. Um, this one right here, actually, this one responded to us in Wailopo Stars. And now if you look right here, I'm going to click on her name. And right here, she was, these were the questions that were asked and she responded. Where is she? Let me see her messages. Okay. She didn't respond to messages here, but if we go right here, she responded in our Wailopo stars where I started talking to her and I confirmed, um, where is it, where is it there? No, not there. So she, let me just go into Wailopo stars. Is that okay, Tristan? Yeah, jump in. Okay, cool. So right here, there we go. So we were talking and I took over the conversation. She says, can we do next week, Monday, perhaps? That's when I start, I took over and I said, yes, absolutely. We can do a call on Monday. What time works best for you? She said 11 a.m. Um, I will add you to my contacts. The con contacts. Look, when I scroll down, look at the kind of lead, uh, look at the kind of listings she's viewing. 9.8 million, right? So I have a call with her today. I'm not going to take this as where the, the, the dollar value, I'm not the price, I'm not going to take it. Um, to a level of seriousness yet, but I know she's looking in Salsalito and surrounding areas. So I'm mm -hmm. going to keep myself well informed of this area. I know this area, it's San Francisco and Salsalito on the other side. So I have knowledge of this. I know the prices around there. I'm going to do my homework before I'm, I call her 
and say, hey, the average price point is this. How about we get into a, get a, get on a Zoom consult? So things of that sort. Another thing, Tristan, that we always do is in our buyer consultation, here's another thing I wanted to share with all of you guys, is we do, we go to, I'm just going to go and share again, you guys. And I usually like to go to um, NARPR there. So I go to this, uh, you know, I go to um, NARPR and I actually show them, um, you know, I go into market trends, right? And um, I actually talk to them a little bit about uh, what is, um, how the trends like in Fremont. A lot of my clients are actually engineers and they love, love, love to kind of see what's going on in Fremont in terms of um, stats, right? So I like to go into marketing. Um, actually, I go into research and I do resident, residential market trends right here. And I talk to them about the trends in Fremont. And this one uh, report really was impressed. One of our leads got really interested. Um, and he was asking these questions like, OK, talk to me a little bit about why this is happening, right? Uh, why is there no crash? His mindset was all about, oh, a crash is coming, a crash is coming. Again, education is key. So when you share this information and actually know what you're talking about, especially on your buyer consultations, it's a big aha to home buyers and home sellers actually um, to know, okay, pending listings, 12 days on the market, yada, yada. So just kind of inform people your job on a buyer consultation is to really, really, really be informative, you guys, and um, share knowledge with them. Those are the other things. And then, of course, you know, we have these guides, Tristan, that I always talk about. Um, mm -hmm. In these guides, you guys, um, you know, when you're doing buyer consultations, it's very, very important to kind of keep them informed and keep them Keep your buyers and or your sellers informed of what's going on, what they should expect from you going for, you know, going further into the into the um, process. Right. So we have this information plan of action, but we also have designed it to where, hey, what's next? Right. Things of this sort is very, very important. So a buyer knows the do's and don'ts, especially with everything that's going on in our market. SB 326, uh, why get a pre-approval? Why is that important? Inform, inform, inform. That's the best way we could, uh, that's the best thing we could do. We do have buyers and sellers that are looking to buy and sell. One um, one of our clients in San Ramon is looking for a bigger home. And I dig, dug a little deeper and asked her the question, why? What is motivating you to move? You've got a beautiful home right now. Um, she said, well, my parents came from India and it was a little bit too tight, 18, 1900 square feet. So we're looking for a 2,500 to 3,000 square feet, about two to two million, uh, two, two to 2.5 million, right? So I asked, I asked questions and I just say, I use words like, out of curiosity, may I ask, what is your motivation to sell at the moment, right? Out of curiosity, tell me, just on a, you know, just like um, for me to understand you better, are you looking to sell in the next 30, 60, or 90 days? Don't say, when are you looking to sell? Just say, are you looking to sell in the next 30, 60, 90 days, right? So now they don't have any options to say no. They can say, oh, well, I'm thinking 90 days, but we'll see how everything goes. How is the market doing? So now this starts a conversation about the market, right? This is another thing that we do for buyers and sellers that are looking to buy and or sell. This is not going to fade, you guys, right? This is not going to go out of style or anything because guess what, you guys? We actually write down step-by-step step when you're looking to buy what happens when you're looking to sell what we need to do, right? So this is one thing that really works well for us. And then at the end of the day, we have the seller's guide, which really talks to the sellers um, a lot about property, you know, what property taxes look like, what are the tax rates, not much, not too much into it. But we have, what are the transaction tasks in this book, you guys, right? We have over, don't make a decision, know what you know what we do for you. Because remember, we're asking for that compensation. You got to justify that, right? The 2.5, mm -hmm. you're asking them, look, you have a choice. And we also have this um, insert that we have, which I don't have here, which I can share with Tristan. We have an insert that says, okay, um, commissions are negotiable. At 1%, this is what you get. 2%, this is what you get. Two and a half, this is what you get. Here's your options. You tell me what you want to pick. 
one of our sellers said, I want 2.5%. I want to pay you 2.5%. And on the buy side, I'll only pay you 1%. Well, Simran didn't like that. <laughs> so now she's negotiating her commissions on that side. So you see how you present yourself to any any home buyer, any home seller, any online lead is going to be very important. Um, we also have this do's and don'ts, like don't list your home without knowing what we do versus what they do, right? So we have this insert that goes into you guys. That's what I have here. Um, Tristan, anything else I'm missing to talk about? No, I think that combination is good. Uh, one thing that you reminded me of for, for everyone trying to figure out how, how they're going to approach this is really deciding what number you're going to have as far as the people you're going to be calling. So at the very beginning, Junkie, you said 20, right? Yeah. Hey, I'm going to go for 20. And it reminded me of a quote by um, Warren Buffett, right? I'm always like a Buffett, Charlie Munger guy. So uh, I looked it up and I, I want to get it right so I can read it to you. It says, so this is Buffett. And it reminded me of what you said, Junkie. It said the sign above the player's entrance to the field at Notre Dame reads, play like a champion today. And then Warren says, I sometimes joke that the sign at the Nebraska one reads, remember your helmet. Charlie and I are remember your helmet kind of guys. We like to keep it simple. Yeah. And, and it's just like, you know what, 20. It's yeah. so simple. Yeah. Don't stress a bit. See, there was a day where I think I did text Tristan and I said, I am very, very like, you know, you, every, all of us get into in this negative mode, right? And I only called 11 people, you guys, because that day I was getting so many voicemails. I was just like, you know, I'm done. I, I don't want to keep dialing. I stopped at 11 because my energy wasn't there. See, we talk a lot about what we need to do and to get done. But if you don't get it done here and you're not in the right mental state or right mindset, this is not going to happen. Where mm -hmm. I get two consults appointments or three seller appointments or whatever, you know, it's not going to happen, you guys. So one thing I do for that, Tristan, is I meditate. I really do, you guys. Um, I get away. I meditate. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm learning, I'm learning as I go. Perfect. I like that. Uh, you got a, a lot of good feedback, any questions, any comments or any ahas, anything that inspired you to be like, you know what? I'm going to do that. Uh, Junkie, I love mass texting. I do too. Yeah. I think what I'm the next on Thursday's call, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with mass texting so people can see. Oh, I'd love how to. How then we respond. Right. So I think that's yeah. it. And you know what? The best part, just um, I think last week when lo when uh, my lofty was not able to deliver, I was stuck. I was like, oh, my God, I can't move because why? That's my lifeline of my business. So yeah. as soon as it turned on, you guys, we sent it out to over 500 leads and we got about 85 people responding. And out of that, two bio consults were set and two phone appointments were set. So for me, Talking to our leads, a lot of people love to text here. So just on the phone, they, they don't they don't converse too much. But when they're texting, um, we can respond and set that appointment. Um, and I love that. And I can I can share more with you, Tristan, or more with everyone um, as we go along, like how how that really works for us. What kind of questions do we ask? Remember, open ended questions. That's it. I like that. Well, yeah. let's have you on in a, in a couple of weeks again, too. Awesome. I'd love to. Yeah. All right. Any big questions? Valencia, thank you so much. I see you. And, Hi, Freddie. Uh, uh, Freddie. Hi. I see Freddie. I see Jeannie, Thanks too. Thanks for jumping in. Hey, guys. This is great. Thank okay. you, Junkie. Thank you, Tristan. You're welcome. You're welcome, Valencia. Thanks, Junkie. Have an awesome day, everyone. Bye, everybody. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, guys.